My Unreal is completely frozen right now. That's not good. That is not good. Did you know Minecraft didn't always look like this? In fact, the very first version of Minecraft was made in just a couple days by Notch. There was no randomly generated worlds, there was no enemies to fight, all it was was just breaking and placing blocks. So I figured if Notch could do it in a couple days, surely I can do it in an hour with a modern game engine, right? Okay, I have a one hour timer on my phone here and we're going to start it right now. Let's do this. First things first, I need to make a project. So I opened up Unreal Engine and made a new project using their first person template. As you can see, we are moving at lightning speeds. Since I used the template, we already have a first person controller so we can move around and jump. And that is going to be a huge time saver because we have a lot to do. From there, I made a new level and added a cube as well as a giant sky sphere. And now my base level was set up and ready to go. Now we needed to let the player do stuff. And if we look back at this original version of Minecraft, the controller Controls are pretty stinking advanced. Firstly, we can place blocks and then get this we can break them. This meant I needed to know what block I was looking at and snap a new block to a grid whenever I place one. I did this with a line trace straight in front of the character's head. That way we could see if they're looking at anything and if we're close enough to interact with that block. Then I needed an actual block to spawn. So I made a one by one cube and got it placing down whenever we hit right click. Okay, I'm like 15 minutes in now. We officially have block placing. So I do a little trace and then we can place blocks and it doesn't look pretty. Oh, but it will soon. This was where I ran into my first big problem. In order to make sure everything spawns in the right grid, I'm using this node called Vector Snapped Grid, and it basically converts any location to the nearest grid location. That way everything can be on a grid together. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the location of when this line trace hits the block and converting it into a grid to know where to place the next block. The issue is when I was looking at the very edges of a block, they would end up being placed out here since it's technically closer to where the line trace hit. What I ended up doing instead was taking the location of the block that was hit and then using the hit normal to offset that location. Basically, instead of taking this location, I took this location and shifted it based on where the line trace hit. From there, I worked on breaking blocks and I had soon recovered from that little delay I hit. Okay, I got stuck on the block spawning logic a little bit too long, but it's fully working now. We have 35 minutes left. And right now it's looking like this. So we can place blocks and then we can click to break them. Um, so all the block placement is is working fully um, and I can replace those and yeah, got to keep moving. The next notable thing about this version of Minecraft was that it was completely flat. That being said, it's very different from super flat worlds in modern Minecraft. The main differences being is that it's not infinite and there's no bedrock. In fact, if you fall into the void in this version, you just keep falling into the abyss forever. So the next thing on my list was to create a terrain generator to place all of these blocks for me because otherwise it would be super tedious. I would basically just tell it how many blocks to generate on the X, Y, and Z axis and it would just place them for me. This should not have taken any time at all until okay my unreal is completely frozen right now so we're gonna see when it unfreezes and i am officially halfway through okay i think i'm just gonna restart my unreal and hope that i didn't lose too much because it is completely frozen up that's not good that is not good i hope i didn't lose anything okay we're back let's see the damage okay um let's see okay not too bad not too bad Okay, luckily the crash wasn't too bad. The majority of the time I lost was just restarting and waiting for Unreal to open back up, but this was still a pretty major setback considering I only have an hour for this challenge. Now, if we drag this in, there we go. Okay, boom, we have blocks. But let's do like 50, no, 20, we'll test it with 20. Okay, it's doing good now, 50. Okay, 50 by 50, oh, come on. You can do this. There we go, okay, that's all I need, that's all I need. And then now when I click play, okay, here we go. Here we go. Sweet. This is awesome. Okay. We're good. We're good. And I can place blocks. Awesome. I have 25 minutes left. I got that done really quick after the crash. So hopefully we can have a good comeback here, but things are doing better. Okay. There we go. We got that top level as grass now and everything else will be cobblestone. I'm going to make this not photo real textures in a few minutes, but we got that step done. So I'm going to save in case there's another crash because I only have 13 minutes left. All right, it's time to be an artist. I have 11 minutes to be an artist. Oh 
my gosh, this Discord overlay. Get out of my way, please. 32 by 32, we'll go with that. Oh, that is cobblestone if I've ever seen it right here. Oh, that stone is cobbled. That stone is cobbled. Jumble tool. It's kind of giving grass. That does not look like grass, but it's okay. Because it's green, and green equals glass. No, not glass, grass. There's that, and then I go into cobblestone. Boom, there's that. And holy moly, is this Minecraft? Is this Minecraft in the haps? Now I have less than five minutes left and I still need to finish one more thing. Whenever you hover a block in this version, it pulses to let you know that you're currently hovering it because there's no crosshair. I got a couple minutes left, I have one more thing. Translucent, overlay is white, 0.3. That needs to be multiplied by a sine wave. And time, time into a sine wave, add, divide by two, multiply, holy math. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. And now, the timer was counting down and I knew I could get this done, but there was absolutely no room for mistakes. Branch, hovered block, it is valid. If it's not valid, we set that. You to you. And with just a few seconds left, I pressed play to see if my code worked, and then... That could not have been better timed. We are done. The timer is over, and let's check it out. I'm going to do one thing. Because my Unreal crashed two times while trying to do this, I am going to make the playing area a little bit larger, but that is literally adding two numbers to my for loop. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present to you Minecraft. So just like in the normal game, you can break stuff, kind of go down with my, my beautiful pixel art that I did. I know, it's, it's quite amazing. We can break our way out here as well. And then, we can place blocks. And that is, that is all that the original Minecraft was. Uh, the thing that I ended on was adding this little overlay to let you know what block you're hovering. I, I assume they added this because there's no actual crosshair in the original Minecraft, so this, this is what lets you know where you're hovering. Uh, but the building is a little clunky uh, because there's no crosshair, but it is doable. and. This is, this is it. This is pretty much, this is Minecraft. So we can go ahead, build out, and make a little house here. There's also no sounds or breaking animations or anything. Like this, this version was bare bones. And now we have a nice home. Look at that. But yeah, basically that's the game. If you guys enjoyed the video, I would love to make this a series, either by expanding on and adding updates to this Minecraft version, or by doing similar one or two hour game recreations. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. I also just started a series where I'm recreating Wii Sports and Unreal, so if you want to check that out, you can click right here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!